in duizend nog. Morgen. Hallo Vincent. <laughs> Vincent van der Rooyen. Uh, as you might know, there is the other official person that always is on InfoStream is not here today. Um, Vincent het hom vervang. Ja, vir die, vir die dag. Ja. Jy het hom al. Vir die, vir die ochend, ja. Okay, so uh, <laughs> welcome info streamers Namibia and the rest of the world. It's nice to have you on our show this morning. So Vincent is going to be taking over the role uh, that Kaufi usually has, and that's why we've also put his um, name there. Where is it? Over there. Let me just go down there. You can see that's Kaufi, and that's effectively you now. Oh, that's me. But, uh, okay. this, that's you. Okay. Die skoon geskeerde <laughs> I must say, it's nice to have you on the show, Vincent. Thank you for helping us out. Bye, thank you. It's very lekker om jou hier saam met ons te hee. Um, ons het daar vir Zelly Kotse, ons moet net altyd, Vincent is nog een bykie niet hier so, ja. ons sê net vir hulle allemaal goeiemorgen. Ons het vir Terry, hy is also on the show, en dan vir Peet uit Bloemfontein, ook op die show. Lekker nice. om julle te hee. So that will be your role. Ja. <coughs> From now on. And today, the, the 14th of June, and we've got a jam-packed session for you today, today, Motoring Wednesday. And we'll be talking motocross motorbikes a little bit later. And then we're also going to be talking about uh, the second-hand car market in Namibia, to which Vince has got all the knowledge. And he will be sharing that with us yeah. today. Ek is nog steeds a bieke siekerag en snotterag. And I'm still under the flu, but I've been doctored at home like you won't believe and certain people out of my family have told me also that ek, that ek a bieke apteek toe moet gaan. Ja, Kijk, ek gaan ons gewoonlik nie dokters en apteeke, dis ja, nie so my ja, ding nie. Maar ja. daar is iemand op die show daar buiten wat ek net wil laat weet, ja, ek het apteek toe gegaan, Sally. <laughs> no? All right. Okay, nice to have you on board. Temperature vandag lekker eindelijk, nee? Ja, so vanochtend natuurlijk een beetje koel cool geweest, <coughs> maar ik voel hem nou of hij zonnig is, hij kop uitsteekt. Ja. So geloof het gaan hem uh, redelijk warmer worden. Dus ik verstaan hem zeker zo so twee graden een beetje warmer als gisteren. Right. Ja, maar twee graden, je weet, als je ook zo koud krijgt als ik bijvoorbeeld, ik begin eerst beter voelen als het vijf graden warmer is als gisteren. Yes, yes. Niet op twee niet. <coughs> so, ja, hij blijft maar nog koud. <laughs> And a little bit later, we will also be talking to Dirk, who's somewhere out there, because Dirk and all his mates, all the Harley Davidson riders, are on a little bit motor fiets tour, Vincent. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the yeah. motor fiets tour is back to basics. Um, we'll tell you all about that. We touched a little bit on the topic a little bit uh, during the course of the, 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 the week. Mm. And uh, we'll be getting some nice new footage from the back to basics guys. Hulle gaan op a motor fiets tour, maar ons gaan eers a bykie later. Very exciting, yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break and uh, then we'll be back with the newspaper reviews. See you now. Ja, ons 
Ma Kabaya Yaris. So there we are, and we yeah. are back. And we are just in time for the newspaper review. We eat us now all amal da, so for we can us for ochend um, um, goeie morgen sê. Ja, kom ons kijk, ga ons het mors nou vir Lezel Kotse gehad, hmm. so. Ok. Ja, ja, wat by jy in die moeilikheid is. Ja, ja. Ja, en dan net om... Ok, ek dink, as, ek, as ek jou gauw kan help, hier so, want jy het nou met karikies gepraat, ek nou met karikies gepraat, hallo, hallo karikies, het <laughs> is mooi om jou op die show te hee, <laughs> ja, so daar is ons nou op, ja, allemaal. Ja. Right, so ja. who do we have on the show, Vincent, wie het ons okay, vandag? Ok, so we, we said hallo to, to uh, Terry. Terry, and we said hallo to, is it Piet? Piet, ja. Ja, ja, and then andere karikies, mm. we said hallo. And then we have uh, Abby Smith, Abby Smith mm -hmm. um, also asking if you took your meds. I did so, take my meds. Yeah, obviously. I, I absolutely did take my meds. Yeah. <coughs> and, have uh, a, a lot of people that are concerned about you taking meds. <coughs> so. I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad that you're actually going to I'll be in Bloemfontein as I'm very glad. Um, I'll scream not for the blue bullet, and you play on Bloemfontein as a fire blade that you own here. <laughs> and there are just certain people that we have to um, have to say. Abby Smith is also on the show. Yeah. She is, of course, Abby. She's her business is Fern Funeral Solutions. She's a big supporter of InfoStream. Abby, it's nice to have you on the show. And for those of you who ever end up uh, in a situation where you may have lost a loved one, um, or you need to deal with the uh, uh, the end of life issues. Get into touch with Abby, Abigail Smith. She'll be able to help you guys all out. And she does all the administrational stuff and all that. So there we go. Abby from Fern Funeral Solutions. <coughs> okay. Let's look a bit at the courant of the Wat het jij daar zo? Ja, ik zit met de Republikein. Jullie moeten maar verschoon, want ik is nou een van hen op die ouderdom waar ik die bril moet afvallen om te zien. Same, same hier. En die bril moet terugzetten om te hoor. Om te hoor. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. Want ik, je weet, als je nou, als je nou met die kar rijdt, dan zet ik nou al die muziek zachter om beter te kunnen zien. Om beter te kunnen zien. Onze beter, onze die ouderdom. Als jij ook een van die, wat als je reverse, dan moet die muziek zachter. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, maar dat komt, dat komt automatisch. So I can see it's an ingebouwde ding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, op hierdie ouderdom. I can't, I can't reverse yeah. a car if nee. the music is too loud. Nee, 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 nee. Dit is verschrikkelijk. Maar ja, ons moet vrede maak daarmee. So ja. Nee, op die Republikein <coughs> veroogend, mm -hmm. het ons op die voorblad, die Republikein natuurlijk, ja. Op die voorblad veroogend het ons uh, wanbetalers lichte blij eers aan. So ek weet, dit is een baie... Is that those regions where NAM power warned them that yes. th those particular people that don't pay NAM power, and I understand that NAM power was a billion rand, not in debt, but it was owed a billion rand. Yeah, I think I think slightly more. If I recall, I think it was 1.4, which I heard oh. over over the, the the news not too long ago. It was in total 1.4 billion that's owing to. Only banana. Yeah, so that's okay. a little bit of picky by a girl. So the Quran say, "Hello, yeah. lichte blij on." Well, let's see. Yeah, let's see. It like like for my day, man, I've had now in the beginning is a a a idrai gemak with with mm. name power. What he said, young, we're going to lichte afslide. Right. And the dinge. So this what this must not be every man on the street. Gebeur. Yeah. It's all now omgedraai. It's like for me, this is going to be first a bit uitgestel word. Die die lichte afzetterij. So ja, maar dis, ja, dis verschrikkelijk. Uh, okay, so in other words, the lights are the lights are on, but negotiations are underway in terms of getting that money in. Or, or do you think we might see a government bailout? And if ja. so, then dan komt natuurlijk die vraag op. As dan, want die die gesprek het opgekom. Mm. <coughs> if those people in those regions are just unable to pay, their, if they don't pay it, is one thing. If they are unable to pay it, that's also that's another thing. But if government is going to bail those people out, um, then what about us that have paid our electricity for so many years? Yeah, yeah, I think and that becomes that becomes the the borderline, you know, which which is a grey area and where do you where do you move within that? Because yes. you have people that that can't afford, okay. I suppose, and then you have people that just don't pay, right? I suppose, and then you have the people like us or the people out there that can and that do pay. Okay. And I'm sure you know when those lights or the electricity is cut to those regions, it affects not just the person that 
can't pay and the person that doesn't want to pay and the person that's paying, it, it, it obviously impacts the whole yes. community. Yes. So, and that's a very gray area which to, you know, where, where, where you're going to go into. Um, and I think that makes it a very debatable subject yeah. at the end of the day. Because sure. we all need electricity. I mean, you can't just you can't step do, away huh? in the modern world. You can't. The other concern is, of course, I mean, if you are... If there's a 1.4 billion Namibia dollars outstanding with our national provider, please remember also, Vincent, is that we are getting a lot of electricity from South Africa. Yeah. So we are dependent on South Africa's electricity, and we yeah. all know what the load shedding situation in South Africa is like. Yeah. And we know that there are a lot of people in South Africa that don't totally agree that South Africa should be exporting its energy to us while they need it themselves. Yeah. The argument goes that South Africa need, desperately needs our money in terms of electricity. Here comes the trick. <clears throat> If the national provider, if NAM Power is owed 1.4 billion, how long must it still go until NAM Power is unable to pay the electricity coming from South Africa? Yeah. And then, what are we going to do then? So let us also begin with us. Let us also begin. Daar so soos die kommentare inkom. Ons het vir Thea skitte. Thea, dat is lekker ook om jou weer op die groep te hee. En dan net ons Karen ook Malan. vir Karen Malan. Morgen Karen. Het is lekker om jou te, te, te sien nie so. En ek dink as jy een bykie opskrol... Ja, bykie op, dan kom ons kyk gau hier so... Daar gaat ons... Uh, oh, daar, ja, nie, ons het met haai gepraat... Met Zelie gepraat... Hallo gesê, so. en dan het ons vir die zel... Holy banana, ja. Wat sê, holy mm, banana, ja, ja. dis... We'll talk about that later on, on when we get home. <coughs> Here's an interesting one. Um, on the front page of the Namibian. Today, of course, the 14th of June. The main headline says, Government to ban the use of single-use plastic. So now we look at the specific things single-use plastics. Um, Strooikies. Yeah. Plastic sakkies. Plastic sakke. Um, earbuds. You know, they're, they're also made of plastic. Mm. So in other mm. words, any form of plastic in form of its single-use. Um, here we look at the message and the stelletjes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's like that. And we've got some organizations in Namibia that are producing plastic. Uh, and they are also importing plastic uh, into Namibia. And here it says on the front page of the Namibian this morning, <coughs> excuse me, it says, government to ban the use of single-use plastic. The government has set in motion plans to ban single-use plastic by the end of the year. The Environment Minister Poamba Shifeta recently told Parliament that plastic waste stays on the planet for much longer than anyone may think. All right, so um, please let us know what are your thoughts of that. I mean, kom ons wat is strooikie? Ons kan seker strooikies uit papier maak. Ek ondou toe ek kind was, het ons uit wit papier strooikies gehad. Ons het nie, we didn't have... Ek sien, ek moet sê, ek sien meer by restaurante en daai type ja. papieke plekke, sien ek meer papier strooikies as die plastiek strooikies. Rarig. Uh, ja, uh, maar ek is glad nie een voorstander af van die, want daai, plas, daai papier strooikie raak nader aan so'n moesie papperei. That's hier, correct, ja. Yep. Um, maar ja, ek het nogal nuidig smaaks genoeg die gesprek gehad met my kinders. Uh, right. Om te sê, ons het die plastiek strooikies gehad wat jy so kon uittrek en kon ombuig. En I remember those, yes. Toen yes. hulle in verskillende forums gekry en sikke goed, maar ek sien hulle nie meer nie. Ek sien dees daar net meer papier strooikies. So, I think what they are doing by the end of the year, there are some other uh, date, deadlines um, that were mentioned on one of the local radio stations this morning. Um, <coughs> the reason why you can't just ban single-use plastics like overnight is because the, some industries are dependent on that. And they, they, they okay, as you know, for, let's say, okay, no more single-use plastics by the end of the year. Then those businesses now basically need to sit around the table and say, okay, if we are in that industry mm. or mm. if we are consuming mm. uh, single-use plastics mm. in order for us to, to benefit, then how are we going to do this in the future? What are yeah. the solutions? Please remember, it's not government's role to, f to, to, to find the solutions. No, it is not. It's, it's yeah. us, we ourselves, yes. that need to yeah. find our solutions. Yeah. So, um, for example, chopsticks, you know, when we eat mm. Chinese food mm. and what, what. Mm. 
many of them are in plastic. Why, why can't we just use the wooden chopstick? Mm. Ne? Yeah, 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 that's true. In place of plastic board, yeah. gebruik papier board. Yeah. Ja, oké, papier, papierborde is moest maar meer algemeen, um, wat ik op jarenlang als een kind en onthoud dit. Maar later aan dit jij, dit jij daar dan, daar dan plastic in een gekregen, dit jij in gekregen wat amper zo's een amper zo's een styrofoam is. Correct. Je weet dat jij toen later ook gekregen, maar daar dan als jij om en die vier gooi om te verbranden, dan smelt je daar ook. Hij is soms zo gooi van moois. Je weet. That's the other thing with ja. polystyrene as well. Ja. Did you know that polystyrene cannot uh, break down? It's, uh, yeah, if it's, it if it's poly polystyrene yeah. once, it'll be forever polystyrene. Yeah. Yeah. It, it might just be a sh broken up into little pieces. Mm. But if you had a big, let's say, board like this made of po polystyrene, even if you break it into a million pieces, it yeah. still represents yeah. this big board. Yeah, yeah okay. it becomes a bowl of burnt plastic, yes. basically. Yeah. 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 Mens, kom ons kijk een beetje wie yeah. praat daar so saam met ons. Okay, daar kom een hele paar so kommentare in. Kijk, ga, ga, ons het <coughs> vir... Piet wat hier so sê, Zuid-Afrika gaan nou kracht invoer vanaf ja. Mozambique. Hij sê, hij denkt zo so 1000 uh, megawatt, <coughs> wat hulle dan nou zeker zal, zeker nog maar contingency plannen wat hulle nou in plek moet zetten. Correct. Om, om, om daai verschrikkelijke loudsering te kan teenwerk. Um, dan het ons hier so of uh, Karen Malans, hy sê, ek is een eskomiet. Ja. Ek het nie meer die idee wat om te sê nie, stilblij is ook een antwoord. Oké, okay. wat is een eskomiet? Uh, as Karen, laat weet wat ons werk jy vir eskom. Ik zie wat ek net opvraag op hierdie. Sy sê, sy is een eskomiet. Ja. Um, <coughs> okay, so I was thinking about this just a, a little bit longer in terms of the electricity. You know that we've got the Southern African Union? Yes. Okay, so we as Southern African countries, we belong, belong to SADC. Yeah. And I've got a question as to why are we not actively doing the, a, a, a more combined infrastructure for SADC. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Should the distribution of electricity not come out of Botswana? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Let's say we generate electricity just like Mozambique, just like South yeah. Africa, just like Botswana. I'm mm. sure that they've also got um, mm. um, Angola, Zambia. Yeah. Um, shouldn't the total electricity basically be brought into Botswana and then redistributed from Botswana to all the other uh, countries in terms of the distribution of that electricity? Ons het alf krag distributors in Namibia. Ja, 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 ja. For example, Norred. Ik denk bij die kus is, uh, wat noemen hulle bij die kus, als enige iemand van die kus is daar is, Irongo, Irongo Red. red. Irongo red. red. Ja, ik denk is Irongo Red. So, um, the uh, question is, shouldn't we centralize the electricity and then spread it out from there? Angola, mm. ach, I mean, Botswana is perfectly mm. situated so, for Yeah, that. so what you're basically saying is to, to send everything to a central, almost distribution hub. Correct. Like you have in logistics. Yes. And then because Botswana is so well, situated right that it is basically the center so, center point of SADC or and to this to distribute if, if there are countries that are uh, uh, um, uh, generating more electricity they than they themselves are using shouldn't that go to Botswana and from Botswana to the countries that that would then buy it yeah I suppose there will then be a lot of uh, there will have to be a lot of controlling around it because the distribution would be almost as a share of this the SADC correct national so you will have so South Africa might get a a 40 percent distribution Namibia yes. a 20 yes. and depending on your usage <coughs> and yes. then in return that should be how the billing correct then kind of works just so, a thought yeah, well I suppose it is it is doable uh, but yeah I mean um, it's just the 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 electricity situation Maybe. in South Africa is dire, dire, dire. Uh, Very. It's 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 scary. Um, uh, my mom lives in in a part of the Cape, mm -hmm. and she has a little solar panel and a little battery and a this and a that. You know, which which keeps basics going. Right. But um, as she says, you know, when the lights go down in the small little town where she lives, uh, it's basically her house that is the only one that seems to have any electricity. Wow. You know, so. Yeah, it's, it's not easy out there uh, in South Africa currently. Well, Definitely there you not. have it. Let so, us know of your yeah. comments. 
Um, we are not going to stretch this too long because we'd like to say hello to our next guest. Yeah. We're just going to go and uh, just pay the bills with our advertisers, so don't go away. Stock, stock, stock. Over here at Global Parts, we pride ourselves on having stock. And if we don't have it for you, we're definitely going to get it for you. But there's a high chance you'll find stock. So come down to Global Parts for all of your car needs. Get stock. <laughs> Welcome to Yamaha Vento where we stock a wide range of lubricants and oils. We also stock an extensive range of accessories and riding gear. We sell a wide range of motorcycles, new and used. Yamaha Windhoek's got tires in stock for all makes and models. Yamaha's got a fully equipped workshop and competent mechanics to make sure your bike is always running right. Yamaha Windhoek, your one-stop biking shop. Right, and we are back. Maybe Vince can move in yeah. a little bit more that we're just sitting. Uh, uh, I'm just keeping my eyes on the blanket here. It was actually now a man that world beruimt and bekend is. We've got the legendary, the superstar. Ingo Waldschmidt with us on the show. Ingo, it's nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, die van jelle wat nie weet nie. <clears throat> Ingo Waldschmidt was the first motorbike rider of Namibia yes. that finished and entered the world famous Dakar race and also finished it. Uh, Ingo, in what year was that? How long ago was that? I did it in 2009, 2011, 2013. So and then the last one was in North Africa, which I did in 2015. So you've done it five times? Four times. Four, Four times. times. Three oh, times in South America, once right? in Africa. Oh, fantastic, sure. huh? That is well done. That's yeah. <laughs> okay, but uh, Ingo, we are not here to talk about, um, about the Dakar. Yeah. We are also now not here to talk any local motocross. In fact, what we are talking about is the motocross of African nations. Mm -hmm. the, we, what, what is this? Tell, tell us more about what this actually is. It's basically um, Africa of all, motocross of all African nations is, is basically once a year they, they do it in, in <coughs> all types of different countries in Africa. Right. This time it's going to be in South Africa. Okay. And it basically includes, I think, 11 other um, African countries. Like Botswana, and right. uh, you know, up, right up to Ivory Coast and stuff. And they basically, what they do, they send uh, five of their top riders in every class. Yes. It's like from 50 cc's right up to, to the open class. And they use, you basically send your five best riders and then they basically compete against each other. And uh, yeah, they've got a start gate of, that can only fit 40 riders. So if it does happen that, that uh, we have two more than 40 riders, then they would have to qualify and, and then basically only the top 40 will race against each other. Uh, is, is this particular event, is it one event? 
it gets held and it's it's make it let's say like the Dakar it's one event that's being held yes. and um, <coughs> how long is this uh, I just got to read the over, date it's over two days okay basically three days so <coughs> the first day is, is just practice sessions and if there is qualifying then people have to qualify then on that's basically on a Friday okay on Saturday we will have two practices in the mornings mm -hmm. and then one race and then on Sunday we will have a practice in the morning and then two races fascinating so yeah right and it's 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 really it's it's an amazing thing, you know especially for our youngsters you know it's, it's some of our riders haven't even left the the Namibian borders to to go race mm. if I talk about the youngsters I'm talking about our lighties the the 50 cc's they're like six seven years old and they are also partaking in this yes yes that's fantastic isn't it? they re representing Namibia for <coughs> us you know so it's a big, big learning curve for them. I think it's going to be a big eye opener for them because right. you know to bring the fastest riders from every country in there. The South Africans really are very, very fast. They they normally always win it, but um, like Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana, ourselves, we've we've always we're always in the mix, you know. Yes. But but yeah, mm -hmm. like I said, it's it's for the youngsters more a learning curve for experience, and. We now, as, as motocross has now started up again, and yep. we, we, we're doing a bit, bit better, and our numbers are going up. Now Great we're going to try and do it, you know, that we go next year and the year after. If, if, it, if it's not too far away, then, then you know, go, go ride in different countries. So this is an yeah. annual event, or is, does it get held, let's say, every, only every fourth year? No, no, no. <coughs> an annual event, mm. but, um, you know, last year it was in Uganda. And obviously, it's that's with the, on the logistics side is a nightmare to I can imagine. fly mm. your bikes up and mm. stuff. And it's mm. just the costs are so high that wow. that then that then if 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 countries do send a team, then most of the time they only send a couple of riders because they yes. can't afford it otherwise. Yes. It's expensive. Yes. Yes. South Africa is obviously it's it's magic because it's it's most of the countries can all drive down. Right. So it's mm. going to be it's going to be a, a good race, I think, a good weekend. Vince von Jokantov? No, no, I suppose, um, I think as Ingo has said, is that uh, exposure, as in right. any sport, is just your best <coughs> learning curve. Mm. Uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you have the youngsters out there, even your more, your more um, adult riders, your guys that have been in the, in the, uh, the business, if you can call it as yeah. such, um, Right. They don't always have the opportunity to take part in a in a global or a big event like this. And the moment that that happens, you know, you realize that yo, I'm actually you know one of the better ones out there. And yep. and you know to, to get that pat on the shoulder to say that yo, you've you were amongst the international riders or the international athletes or whatever it might be, and you fared so well and you did this and you did that. Right. That kind of like on an individual level forces you to just do better and to do better and to do sure. better, you know, it, which it, is fantastic. No, now you're bringing me to a thought, Evans. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ingo, do you, as, if you want to partake as an MX rider um, at this um, African Cup of Nations, do you have to qualify for this or can you just enter it? If, let's say I'm a, I'm a good motocross rider from Swakobunt, I'm just using yeah. that as an example. Um, can I just go and fill in an application form and I can partake in this particular event or does it um, get controlled through any Yeah, form? no, we, we, it does definitely <coughs> get controlled. The way we did it is basically we've, uh, next weekend is basically our next motocross, which will be our fifth leg for the for the year. We've got okay. ten all together. Here in Vintuk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At Galina? At Galina. Okay. And and up to now, basically, we took uh, riders how they were doing in, in, in their championship up to now, okay. according to points. Right. And then we basically choose the first five in, in every class. Wow. So it meant that you we, we already knew this from last year. So <coughs> from the beginning of the year, guys obviously had to make sure that they're mm. on every race. Sure. So that they get good, good points. Mm. And... Um, and okay. But then we also got, got riders, we've, for instance, got a rider, uh, he's at the moment studying in Cape Town, mm -hmm. and he's one of our, our better senior riders, or he was already riding in, in, in the senior class, so we said, you know, we, we needed more more entries in that class, <coughs> so 
so he's he's joining in. Okay. And uh, we, we look at at all all, all kinds of uh, criteria to to obviously send also the strongest and the best team to Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. Just looking at the comments, uh, Exinchara yeah. Lowe says, Hello, Ingo, my Mikey. Oh, my Heinke. My Heinke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then, Zelly Kotze Frada, so it's. Um, what's, yeah, we have a little span, but Khan, so she would like to uh, know who's there. Yeah. We've got 23 riders at the moment. Um, unfortunately, I don't have their names here. Okay. But, um, yeah, we've got like, a, we've got 50 CC riders, 65, 85. Then we've got a 125 junior class, which is prop, like full, full, full. And then uh, the open class, the veterans class. And yeah, like I, like I said, the, our, the nice thing is that our up and coming riders, they are, they've got really nice full classes. Mm. And mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be an awesome experience for them to, to, to see how good the other countries will be. Yeah. Yeah, you know, to always just just ride against your own riders up here in the middle. We we get on a, on a good day maybe 50 entrants. Okay. And I always say, you know, when you get on the start line and you're only <clears throat> seven on the start line, you kind of pick and choose. Oh, okay, mm. today I'm I'm sure I'm gonna. Mm. My worst position was probably gonna be a fourth. If I can really go well, I can do a third. Right. But if you stand with 40 riders on the start it line, it becomes a different ball game. Don't know the, and you don't right. know these people from a yeah. bar of soap. Yeah. Then yeah. it becomes yeah. complicated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and, and the, and the time is also, that's a nice thing. Uh, we ride, for instance, like a 10 minute uh, heat plus one lap. Okay. If we go to Cape Town, we're nearly going to ride double that amount. So it's going to be longer sure. heats. Whoa. You know, so we've got, we've got okay. them now that the guys are actually, we're training together as a team on, on Saturdays. We're practicing together. Oh, and okay. then during the week, we go to, I don't know, yeah, PD Storm. Uh, may, yes, may, PD, may, yeah. May mention him. Yes, PD, of course. PD is, is, is giving us free, free training. So wow. lots of the youngsters we go. And I actually joined in as well. Okay. Just to, just to you know, get fit as well. Sure, and sure. Why not, you know? But that's that's good. The, the, the commitment amongst the riders is there. And, and that is that is what's so great. It's a nice team, team effort. And we've been... We're sending proposals out to sponsors. We're getting good reactions from a lot of companies. We made some money already together. That's obviously the other big thing you need to understand. You know, it's it's not just the packing your top bag and your your cricket stick or mm -hmm. something and jump on an aeroplane. And we all have to drive down with our cars, with a trailer, with a bike, mm -hmm. with your mm -hmm. kit, with your tools, with yes. your washer. Uh, you know, it's it's endless, and it obviously costs really a lot of money. Yeah. It's 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 a bit more complicated than than mm. than other sporting codes, you know. So, mm. well, there we have it. There you go. I want to ask you something. Yes. <clears throat> I was in Omaruru the other day. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Tony Fulhun, yeah. and uh, mm. Bobby Griebel, his mm. son is also riding mm. MX. And then there were some other very cool guys in in, in Omaruru. But the kinders work like that. What for me no how very interesting. And I think just for for info's sake, um, Ingo, I mean we we all know Galina in Vintuk. We've yeah. we've grown up with Galina. I mean it's yeah. part of part of our life and family. But how many motocross places are there in in Namibia? Is it uh, in Vintuk? And then I saw the one in Omaruru. Yeah. Amaru basically <coughs> re revised again and lived up again at the beginning of the year. Great stuff. We used to most ride in Amaru in, in town itself. And okay. then now we're riding in, on the Colmets farm, Lothar yes. Colmets. Yes. He actually has got a, got a little extra property of the summer that he made available. And they built an absolutely amazing track there for us. And then we've got Swakop. Still at the uh, coast. Okay, and that's yeah. still active? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's still active. And then we also <coughs> managed, to, managed to revise uh, Kobabas again. Two years. Wow, so sure. Okay. Well. So we have got four four circuits at the moment that we're riding. Active circuits. Right, races. Okay, and nice. just out of intersex, how many active riders do we have? Motocross riders? Um, I would say close to 60 riders at the moment. Okay. They don't mm -hmm. always turn up. Mm -hmm. it's, we've noticed now since COVID as well, the people are, it's getting tight and, and Vintuk always draws the most riders, but as soon as we do the out of town races, the numbers come down a little bit due to, you know, accommodation and... Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but you could say close to 60 riders on a, on a good day. Fantastic. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, so it's at Mark Barnard, <coughs> but it's top-notch Waldschmidt. 
The Car King, an amazing daughter with Marky as a star from Nam on the 24th. Lekker like MX again in Namibia. Let's go see the top riders. And then we have, is it Zelly? What do you, mm. I think it's Zelly, hey? Let me just yes. scroll down here. Zelly is here near us. We're sit down with a cool box and we're going to is awesome. Yeah, in <laughs> And uh, Mark says, Kalfie, fatte, fatte aan die bra. Die hoesie erg. Ja. Ek weet nie, so, hy bedoel seker een branne wijnkie of iets wat ja, jy moet sal, vat. Ja, ek sal, maak ek my bieke beter as eerst. Oké. Okay. And um, I think I will take up your, your advice yes. there, Mark. En dan, uh, André Karsten sê, Groete oom Ingo, het jy nog jou super tyers per rally cap wat ons by die lichthawe gegeet? Zet hom nog, hy is daar. Hy word, hy, hy, word, hy word nie elke dag gedra, net om special occasion. Speciale geleentere. En Karikie sê natuurlijk, hallo Ingo. <laughs> en dan uh, André sê, om Ingo kiek bad in de Afrika Eco Reis. So jy, maar om Ingo skop oorals bad. En <laughs> <laughs> my maakie saak, jy sê, twee wiele is skop by bad. <laughs> Talking about um, your daughter, I just can't remember her yeah. name again. Zoe. Zoe, Zoe. How's she doing, by the way? Because we must had her on the show with, yeah. with, uh, um, uh, with Mark. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. she's actually doing very well. We've now, since the beginning of the year, actually, for the first time that we've actually split classes. And right. we've got now uh, six to seven girls that are riding. Oh, okay. so is great, huh? separately, not against the boys anymore. Mm. Are all the girls in Winter, perhaps, or maybe some of them? Some of them, <coughs> they're from, from all, or most of them in Winter, but we've got Swakop or Maruru. Right. So, so Do you know, Vince, I think we need to be in touch with Ingo a little bit more often that we get the ladies, or uh, as yeah. he says, the girls, yeah, the uh, on, the, on, on a motoring mm. Wednesday. So, yeah. that, um, we'll so we, for instance, will also be taking part at the MU that's also got a ladies' class. Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Unfortunately, mm. she'll be the only lady taking part. Yes. The others uh, all didn't, couldn't make it, but oh. uh, you know, it's a start. So yes, yeah. for sure. And in yeah, South Africa, there's going to be a couple. So she's, she's actually very excited to, to go and see how well she can do. She's like, yeah, we all like a bit in the dark on that, not, to, not knowing how good the competition is down there. But uh, yeah. Well, there we, there we have it. The motocross of African nations, which will be held in South Africa. And you said Cape Town, no? Yes, Cape yeah. Town. Cape Town. The city of Cape Town on the 11th to the 13th of August. Oh, well, there we have it. We will be watching you with a beady yeah. little eye to yeah. see your progress. Yeah. And uh, please let us know, Ingo, um, at what numbers we might be able to be in touch with you guys. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And then I'm sure that Ingo will take his cell phone along and uh, perhaps mm -hmm. he might give us a, a bunch of... Uh, video clips that would be yeah, very yeah, nice yeah, angle. Yeah. yeah, definitely we want to we want to start like a group and obviously keep the media informed and yes. at the moment we're out there looking seriously for sponsors and stuff and but you you also got a time frame then then you know for the printing on the shirts and all that mm. with all the logos we soon gotta make a make a cut and be happy with what we get. Yes. And then then it's all all on and yeah we'll definitely have a Facebook page and Instagram oh. and <laughs> then the modern technologies today it's going to be or this this time around it's going to be much easier so a lot of people can be yes. directly informed immediately and with the results and everything so oh well there we have it nobody but ingo waldschmidt ingo yeah. it's always nice having you on the show Thank we you wish you all the best of luck Thank please you. keep us involved and we'll yes. communicate with you yeah. and we'll get all the relevant updates mm -hmm. and uh, there we have it nobody but uh, ingo waldschmidt currently it, talking to us in terms of the motocross of African nations. Ingo, it was really nice talking to you. Thank um, you. All the best. Good Thank luck. You yeah, fantastic. All right. Okay. <laughs> stock, stock, stock. Over here at Global Parts, we pride ourselves on having stock. And if we don't have it for you, we're definitely going to get it for you. But there's a high chance you'll find stock. So come down to Global Parts for all of your car needs. Get Stock. <laughs>
then this course is for you. Check our social media for upcoming dates or send us an email at this email address. Okay, and then we would just like to say thank you also to Varta. Varta, of course, uh, Monique and her team, um, they are the official uh, Varta uh, battery sponsors for uh, uh, us here at um, InfoStream. Uh, by a donkey Monique, you keep us going. Thank you so much. <laughs> then also, if you are looking for a container, why don't you be in touch with Fritz Kaufmann? His number is 0811277491. 0811277491. And uh, if you are in need of a container. Then also, Malkis and his team <coughs> at Mobile Diagnostic Te Technicians. What diagnostics do? Yeah. Uh, alle, alle Plak so computer ja, plak in jou kar. Ja, en dan dan lees hulle, yes. uh, is jou karretje gezond of is hy siek? Oké. Okay. En, uh, betek hier word gebruik om te kyk of jy stout was ook. Oh, uh, wow, ja, rarig. Ja, jy kan spoed It, lees en allerlei goedkies. So, ja, so if you go to your, 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 your um, uh, 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 mechanic, he'll tell you, why did you break last weekend at such a high speed on a Saturday night at 12 o'clock? Ja, ja, ja no? so there's a lot of things that are diagnostic. Yeah. Uh, reader <laughs> can see in a vehicle that you don't see. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then what we're going to do, as we spoke about Dirk Kleinschmidt and uh, also the rest of the team, um, they are on their way with the Harley Davidsons on the Back to Basics tour. So let's just cross over there to Dirk and let's hear and see what he's got to say. Okay, morgen, morgen, man, Chris, Brian, I'm over here. Hoe lijkt het voor ochtend? Mr. Bean, um, boodschapje voor Infostream gewoon voor ochtend? Ja, yes, koffie, ja. Infostream was man, dat is allemaal recht hier zo. We wachten nog voor een biker. Die moet ik het voor jij zo vertellen, maar ons is recht voor die strip. Hoe zien jij daar nou, man? Brian, enig iets van jouw kant af? Ja, ons is recht. Dus je kan zien, alle buiten is verlijn, want we hangen net in troepen, dan is het op je pad. Ja, Mr. Bean? Ja, dat is allemaal lekker koud voor ochtend. Ik moet zeggen, onze eindje is vries. Uh, so dit is niet heel te wel aangenaam, maar weer wat het nog steeds lekker dan een keer dat gedaan voor de wereld. Kijk, kijk ook eens. Dat is wel zeker. Oké, Jelle. Angie, bye bye, Angie. Hey, Angie. Right, and then also at the Officers Club, Saturday, the 22nd of July. Is daar een poikikos kampioenskap. Oh, lekker. Mm, so please go mm -hmm. and enter your teams. And you can be in touch with Antoni, Antoni Koch at 081 441 2468. And uh, then we are just coming back to the show. We've still got a couple of ads uh, to throw in. But maybe we don't have to go back to the weather. Yeah, okay. If there's weather, there's weather. Okay, so let's look here at the satellite photo. And if I just go so, then I can just go for Vince, he's for help. Um, the satellite photo shows that there are no clouds in sight, but um, daar komt definitief als je nou naar die mm. satellietfoto gaan kijken, daar is een koude front wat weer bezig is om over die zuidelijke Afrika oor te beweeg. Hij vangt natuurlijk van Kaapstad en dan ja. die Westkus eerste en dan komt hij hier zo van Oranje Munt, Luderitz, Aus, kom hij nou weer op. En ons verwacht dat dit dalk hier zo in die naweek kan. Gaan hij een koud wees, ja. Yes. So uh, that is the weather in terms of the satellite photo. And then maybe just Vince can read yeah. us what the weather forecast for Namibia for tomorrow is. Oh, so the forecast for tomorrow, the interior is sunny and cold to mild in the south. Elsewhere, sunny and warm to hot. The coast, it will be partly cloudy and mild with fog patches at first. And then the wind, which no one really likes, will be moderate northwesterly to southwesterly. And then the tides at Walfus Bay, low mm -hmm. tide is at uh, 22 minutes past 7 in the morning. High tide at uh, 13.49 in the afternoon and low tide again at uh, 42 minutes past 7 in the evening. That's not for all die fissel manne. Die manne, ja. <laughs> and then sunrise in Vintuk tomorrow morning is 7.28 and sunset in Vintuk is 13 minutes past 6 in the evening. Right, so there we have the weather for tomorrow. In the meantime, also, if you need somebody to need, uh, if you need somebody to source a motor vehicle for you, please uh, speak to nobody but Andre at F1 Auto Traders. Or if you are, uh, if if it's necessary for you to s uh, sell your car, 
um, mm. Andre from F1 Auto Traders will help you out. Then rent to kill pest control in Namibia. If you've got a cockroach problem, pest control, um, cockroaches are one of the most common pests in Namibia, homes and businesses. Don't let them take over your home. And then of course uh, we've also got um, Vic uh, from uh, Namibia Cleaning Masters. And Vic, go and check it out. Uh, uh, oh, well, you go and check out Vic because he will help you in terms of all your cleaning needs. <coughs> so there we go. Let us not 100% sure that we have all this so yet. What ons uh, nog al moet uh, bykie oor praat. Let's have a look at this. For all your cleaning uh, chemical needs to call Namibia. Um, they are in Theo Ben Gurirab Street in Wolfers Bay. And uh, all your cleaning chemical needs go to to call Namibia. Right. That's and good then good. we've got um, uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, the Jager accountants and they are based in Tsumep. They'll be able to um, help you all out with your accounting needs wherever you are in Namibia. That is actually quite cool, no? Yeah, that's nice. So that you can have your books done by somebody that's not even in your, in your, in your yeah. town. So there you go. We're just looking at one more ad and then we'll be back. Stock, stock, stock. Over here at Global Parts, we pride ourselves on having stock. And if we don't have it for you, we're definitely going to get it for you. But there's a high chance you'll find stock. So come down to Global Parts for all of your car needs. Get stock. <laughs> Welcome to Yamaha Vento where we stock a wide range of lubricants and oils. We also stock an extensive range of accessories and riding gear. We sell a wide range of motorcycles, new and used. Yamaha Windhook's got tires in stock for all makes and models. Yamaha's got a fully equipped workshop and competent mechanics to make sure your bike is always running right. Yamaha Windhoek, your one-stop biking shop. Right, and then we also have the total group of companies, total security, total realtors, and also total trailer hire. So if you have a security need, you can go and speak to total security, and they are based at, um, you can phone Hein at 264-81-415-1144 for total securities. Total Realtors, you can speak to Yanita at 264-81-272-7260. And uh, the telephone number below is 264-81-415-1144 for your hiring of trailer needs. And then also the Bushman Meat Supplies, uh, York Dievenhager, it's good to say York's flesh quality is very, very high. So um, go to, to York. Dievenhager is also a proud supporter of InfoStream Namibia. And uh, go and check out all his meat specials. En daar is ons nou weer terug. Ja, so kom die uh, InfoStream show vandag, Motoring Wednesday. We spoke to Ingo Waldschmidt. Uh, slowly but surely to an end. I'd also just like to say thank you to Vincent no, for standing pleasure. in for Dirk <laughs> this morning. <coughs> and uh, that was by a nice om jou op die show te Ja, baie dankie. Ons, jy is in die motorbedrijf. Ja, ja. Oké. Jy is die bestuurder van die 
the, the, uh, let me say this correctly. The used motor vehicles at Mercedes, is that correct? Yeah, the certif certified pre-owned okay. and used. So mm. there are, there's a difference between the two categories. What, why would so, be the... Yeah, so a mm -hmm. certified pre-owned right. vehicle has to abide by certain criteria. Okay. So it depends on year model, mileage, condition. Right. And then a used vehicle yes. is anything that might fall out of that segment. So to give you an example, okay. a certified pre-owned vehicle, we, we try to keep our certified pre-owned vehicles not older than six years okay. in age. Now, obviously, the vehicle itself, wow. year model, and it has, it has not done more than 100,000 kilometers. Okay. Um, on the on the clock, <coughs> if we call it that, the odometer, and mm -hmm. and then um, pre-owned or used would be anything else. I get you know? it. Yeah, at Mercedes, uh, certified pre-owned, we can only on on the certified pre-owned sales floor, we can only have Mercedes. Right. Um, and of the at the used department or the pre-owned department, we can have anything else, preferably in the MNZ group most right. of the time. Jeep. Mm -hmm. Mitsubishi, uh, you know, uh, VW, Audi, um, but yeah, as far as certified pre-owned goes, because we are a Mercedes-Benz franchise, we have to conform to dealership standards, okay. and therefore those cars have set criteria and, and are only Mercedes-Benz. Well, there you have all yeah. the information. In general, <laughs> how's it going in the, I would maybe just say, used motor vehicle industry? Um, in Namibia. Yeah, I think w being being Mercedes-Benz, it's a premium brand. Right. Um, uh, uh, it's 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 slow currently, um, but I think it's just in general, uh, not necessarily because it's Mercedes-Benz or a premium brand. <coughs> uh, in the used vehicle market, um, in all segments, it's it's slightly it's slightly slower. But okay. I suppose it's it's just because of people's affordability uh, and people's. Mm -hmm. uh, People's priorities have changed. Right. You right. know, with the interest rates going up and and those things, people have to decide. You know, am I <laughs> am I still able to to pay for my house yes. or my farm or whatever, or my business, whatever it might be, or can I buy a new car or can I buy a demo car? That makes I, sense. You know, those priorities have have shifted in, right. in the last. So, in, in the other last words, year. what you're saying, uh, people are saying, we I, I want a little bit more bang for my buck. Yes. But the buck stops here at whatever the amount is, make it $150,000, $200,000. Um, so I'd, I'd like to get the, the best car I can for that exactly. amount of money. Exactly. Yes, yes. And there's a huge range. I mean, um, MNZ as a company, we've, we've managed to, to fill a lot of the gaps in our vehicle segments uh, across the board, which we never had before. Um, wow. And, and yeah, that was, that was just a, a phenomenal... Um, decision from from our managing director and yes. obviously our shareholders and our directors uh, so we have a we have a huge platform under the Mercedes the uh, not uh, pardon me not the Mercedes but it's the MNZ umbrella mm -hmm. which we never had before so yeah and you need to cover all those those gaps in the market yes. and when we talk about gaps we talk about um, segments okay you know anything from a 300,000 <coughs> Namibia dollar vehicle to a six million dollar Namibia vehicle and in between we can now cover that right which is which is great obviously for for sure. for the MNZ uh, shareholders and for our our brand we oh. can call it that yeah Vincent van Rooyen from uh, MNZ Motors if you are in need of a motor vehicle also be in touch with Vincent van Rooyen Vince thank Fantastic. you very much for Thanks joining us on the show yeah that's it we are going to say goodbye um, we'll see you again tomorrow and we'll also keep you updated as to what Dirk is doing on the Back to Basics trip um, off into the north. He will keep Ooh. us informed. Yeah. <laughs> Drive safe out there. You stay safe. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and you can also WhatsApp us. Please do us a favor and like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon, so you can get an update when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for now, hope to see you next time.